The St. Cloud State football team reached the NCAA quarterfinals for the second time in school history, the last time coming back in 1989. This past weekend, the Huskies squared off versus the number two team in the country in Northwest Missouri State. The St. Cloud State Huskies football team came down to Maryville, Missouri for the quarterfinals of the NCAA Division II playoffs, but it did not go St. Cloud State's way. The Huskies would fall by a score of 59-21. to We went to the post-game press conference and heard what head coach Scott Underwood, Philip Klopaki, and Todd Bestian had to say. We knew what they were going to do. Um, we knew Northwest was going to come out and play, play a lot of cover one, a lot of man, and, um, and they're darn good at it. Nothing much to say besides credit Northwest for playing strong and good football and, you know, like, really nice to well with it. And I think if you look at what Northwest has been able to do, it's, you know, play great defense and then be very good on special teams and block 10 or 11 kicks now. They're keeping the ball at the other end of the field a great portion of the time. And those are the things we tried, try not to have happen to you, but, again, they had lots to do with that. And we knew they kind of tried taking me away. And uh, there were times when we gave it to him and, and he made plays. But, again, when you get down like we were 28-0, it's hard to stick to – to the run game for trying to make a big catch up. So, um, again, if, if I personally, if I would play a little better, I think in the first half we'd had a better chance of, of running those plays more continually than, than we did. Again, Northwest is a very good football team, and when you don't play high caliber guys, you're going to get exploited, and we did. Yeah. Huskies fall 59 21 in the NCAA quarterfinals in Division II football, but for St. Cloud State, it was a very successful season. They had 12 wins in this season, they finished 12 and 2, the most by any team in St. Cloud State football history. Reporting from Maryville, Missouri, I'm Scott Gross for UTVS News.